Good morning, my name is David Peterson. I'm the market professional for Caterpillar Coal Planers and RMs. This morning we're going to be talking about our PM622 coal planer. The 622 actually does have a meaning. It means 600 horse and 2.2 meter rotor. One of the updates we did on, this is what we call our O2C version. So very nice version. We updated some things here. One of the things we did, these used to jut out from the machine and what we found or what we heard from our operators were, they, it was impeding their vision to the front of the track and, and our steering guide. So we recessed those in. You'll notice right below that, we have some lighting now, so at night, these machines work a lot at night. And you'll see this machine, rather than having a glare at you, it sits like on a pillow of light. It's really nice at night because you don't get that blind spot after you look at a light. As we step down here, we go to our water distribution panel. Well, underneath here, we have some red handles and they're very easy to turn. Before, they were very difficult to turn. So again, we got some operator feedback. It was pinching their hands. Um, so we made a change there. The other thing I want to go over real fast is right in here with our anti-slab device. We changed the whole structure of this. As you can see, new wear bar options, whole new configuration. So when the side plate is rendered useless, we can drop that inboard ski and use that for grade control. Very important part uh, because without grade on these machines, you don't have too much. If we go up here, this used to be a, a plastic tube. And that plastic tube, as we all know, after about 30 days, would be so polluted, you couldn't even see if we had water or not. Now it's very easy uh, for the water truck driver to see with the lights, and these are, they're, you can see them from a long, long way away, that the, the machine needs water. We don't want to run these milling machines without water for a couple different reasons, obviously, uh, dust suppression and cooling our, our bits. So, very, very important. As we look up here, you can see the egress and ingress to our ladders and our side rails have all improved now. It's not a spring loaded, it's simply a push and you can get on and off very easily because up and down on the machine, this thing will also fold up very easily. It retracts so now you can go against the building or, or whatever you need to do to get, get tight. The other thing that's important, a safety feature. Uh, this red bar uh, for our leg locks used to be up here underneath this flap. Kind of hard to get to. We had a, a few um, inputs from operators again that this needed to be moved, so we moved it. Um, very nice thing. Now it's easy to put on because that's a safety thing. When this machine raises up and you're uh, checking your cutter bits, which is what we do when that door flips open, you really need to have it locked out. So just so nobody gets hurt. We have a compartment now back here. We always had it, but we, we sealed it. Uh, that rubber seal, we had some water uh, getting in here. We also put a lanyard here. We don't want you to put about 10 boxes of teeth on here, but it will take one or two and you can lock it up. But if you notice how, how nice that seals now, you can hear it. This is another mount for our grade control system, uh, which is right here. This one is equipped with our optional 3D. So that's just a mag mount right here. But this is our 2D system. So very easy, we increased the ram mount on it. It's a big, big ram mount, so plenty of beef, if you will, to hold that display up. It's very easy to move. You can just take it out of the pocket, move it around, and I can switch it back there. I have this cord a little short just for the show, but it goes just very simply in and out and adjustable up and down. So here we are up on top of our the operator station, the operator platform on our coal planer. Um, what, one of the main things we did um, was this display right here. So you'll notice um, before this used to be exposed. So now I can just open this up, hit this little switch right here, this yellow one, and it'll fold down into the compartment and lockable, safe and secure for the evening. That was, uh, before it would just set out there. So we can pull that up. And we also gave it some more flexibility. A milling machine is live. Both operator consoles are live at the same time. So he can easily flip it from one side to the other. If I hit this lever here, it'll go in and out to get it closer to him or her, whatever the case may be. So that's new for this year. The other thing we really concentrated on was our operator console here. So there's, we have height adjustment, which is this one. 
and go up or down with it. So if you're short, tall, whatever, we can handle any operator. It'll also go in and out with this one. So we're, we're wherever you're standing and we put a little uh, flip to it, which is this one. So I can give it just a little bit of a twist and that works very, very well. The other thing we did, we put a hip pad here and an armrest. Okay, very unique because most mill guys, you have to, once that rotor turns on, we have to know where it's going. So you can put your foot up here, that's new. Right here, your propel steering are right here. Very, very nice. We also updated our seats. This is what we call just a pedestal seat. We, we, there also is an option for a big seat, but it takes up a lot of room on the platform itself. So I can just pull on this, sit down here like this, and I can actually operate the machine. Now, can you do that all the time like that? Usually not, but if I'm going straight down a highway, it's nice to sit down. And in between trucks, because we need trucks to, to put the material in at the end of the conveyor. So that's really nice. And you can just flip it up and go right out of the way. And then of course our canopy. This is an optional canopy, but it, right now it's in the deployed uh, state. And I lovingly call it the rodeo canopy because in about eight seconds, it'll fold down flat on the front. It is the same height as this. So very, very simple, very easy to operate. And like I said, all this feedback came from our operators. So we really appreciate that feedback and we listen. This was a short walk around of our PM622 coal planers. Uh, if you want more information, please contact your local cat dealer. We'd be more than happy to come out and give you a demo. Thank you very much.